guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today we are here for the shortest monthly favourites video ever, five polishes. Um, I have done so much swatching and collection reviews this month, I've really enjoyed it. It has been a lot of hard work, a lot of polishes swatched, a lot of them posted to Instagram, a lot of videos for you guys. So I will try and link as many of my like whole review, the whole review, whole collection review videos down below for you, and I will link my Throwback Thursday playlist. Of course, this month was Throwback Thursday month, and I hope you all enjoyed it. I really enjoyed going through some of these because I have had a few of them for a while, and I really wanted to get a ton of collection videos out to you. So if you haven't seen any of those videos, and this is all completely new information, I will link those videos down below for you. And let's talk about these five polishes, which also happen to be indies, which I love. A couple of these I'm going to tease you with because three out of the five of them are from brands that are no longer making polishes anymore, so I'm extra sorry for that reason. The first two is a duo from Princess Now Lacquer, and unfortunately Ashley announced at the end of last year she was not going to be making any more polishes at the moment. And this is a duo based on her dogs, I believe, and they just shouted out to me when they were on in sales because they're just such unique um, hollows and I'm just gonna miss Princess Now like so much. The first one is called Coco and Coco is a cocoa chocolatey um, holographic base but then with a ton of flakies in here and the flakies are I want to say they're like they're multi-chrome but they lend kind of like really like red and orangey so the whole polish like together is very like rustic and like I don't know just like leafy and I, I loved it for that and also it looks like a dog's fur colour which is obviously what they wanted it to be. So the first one there was Coco and she was opaque in two. And going with that one my favourite one was Lola and Lola is this strange unique putty mixture with the same flakies in there. So we have like the putty taupey coloured um, hollow base and then we have the multi-chrome flakies but again the multi-chrome flakies for me look mainly red, orange, yellow on the spectrum um, and this one was also opaque in two coats which is really great because it is a lighter colour. So overall I'm just going to miss Princess Now Lacquer a lot um, and those two polishes were good, really good. I'm so sad. So that last one there with Lola and that was two coats. The other brand that doesn't exist anymore is uh, Frenzy Polish and this is Agro and this I believe is the last of Frenzy. When I've noticed a lot of brands were closing down, there's been a lot of bit of a shift in um, brands closing recently, I wanted to pull out the ones that I had of brands that were closed and try and get through those first because although you guys always say that you love seeing older polishes, I do just feel bad for showing you polishes that you can't get. Um, and this one is called Agro, did I say that? And this is a almost dropped it, oh my goodness. This is a kind of like a charcoal base with a ton of multi-chrome flakies in here. And these flakies are crazy. They are all over the spectrum. They are ones that go from like the blue and green half. There is redder ones, there is pinkier ones. So it is just a beautiful flaky multi-chrome in a black base. Another one that got completely opaque into, and that one was Agro. I've just realised that the other two polishes are exclusive polishes, so this has literally been the most teasing of videos ever. This one, the first one here is Polishes No Sleep Till Brooklyn. This is one of the exclusives for PolishCon New York last year, and I spoke about these in my yearly favourites, if you haven't watched that, you should, um, where um, I loved the exclusive polishes. I don't know what's, I think I went through a phase of seeing group exclusives and customs, none in particular that I'm going to mention, and I was just a bit underwhelmed by them, and I just thought that like, things were a bit generic, and when things are exclusive or um, more money, I want them to be up here. And I think that when I, I think that kind of changed for me when I started seeing the PolishCon exclusives and Road to PolishCon, this, probably almost this time last year, I all of a sudden was like, wow, Things, this is different, this is, things are changing, I'm just super impressed by these and everything that I've tried in association with PolishCon from those indie makers has been superb. So this one again is from Polish which is a brand that I've been um, using a lot more recently and this is a beautiful bright purple base with a ton of um, flakies in here. Now I'm not sure if the flakies are silver or if it's just in the purple base or whether they are more of a bluey colour because that's what colour they look and there is also a subtle purple flash to it. The purple flash is there but it's not super super strong um, overall I just love this one and I did wear this when I filmed a few videos so palishes no sleep till Brooklyn 
And the last one I wore for this month was from a Moonshine Manny run by Phoebe Moon here on YouTube. And this is my first Moonshine Manny and I really enjoyed this one. First of all, I think I said this in my haul video. I love the bottle shapes because they are taller and wider. So I think they'll be really easy to store and stack in my helmets. I can imagine that would be very visually pleasing. Um, and this one is called the Department of Mysteries, which was a polished pickup exclusive for November. So can't get it anymore and it's this really nice mid-toned purple um purple mid-toned blue hollow which i don't think we see a ton i have a lot of darker blue hollows but i don't have a lot of lighter blue hollows so this was nice for that reason alone and then there was a ton of glitters in here uh, mainly um probably getting towards medium size they are quite large and they are all blue as well so overall it's this beautiful blue with the blue glitter i love blue it's harry potter themed overall very happy with this one so this one was also opaque in two so this is department of mysteries by moonshine manny and you're also going to be hearing more about any harry potter polishes in my next harry potter video too so that is everything that is january favorites just those five exclusive no longer available polishes to tease you with um thank you so much for watching all of my videos as always and a great start to 2018 give me a thumbs up subscribe and let me know what your monthly favorites were and i will see you soon bye